Okay, so unfortunately, our last Zoom session just got hacked, which is really unfortunate, but I guess I'm just going to start from the top by saying my name is Ms. Alexa, and I'm with the Oakland County Sheriff's um, Police Athletic League, and today I'm going to be doing two different holiday crafts with you. Um, we might not have time to actually finish both crafts because one of them is a little bit time consuming, um, but I am this vid this video um, Zoom recording um, is going to be posted to all of our social media, so uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, um, and also the links for the tutorials that I based these crafts on are going to be posted as well. So the first um, craft that we are going to do is a little holiday wreath. So I am going to go ahead and start sharing my screen with you guys. And she is going to walk us through the, so what you need for the wreath. Fortunately, during the first recording, I demonstrated how to stretch out the wire hanger. And really, you just kind of start to pull it at all ends. And then you're going to smooth it out by applying like a decent amount of pressure and just kind of dragging your hands along the wreath it or along the uh hanger it does not have to be a perfect circle um this craft is just very casual and easy to do so you don't have to worry about any of it being perfect um so yeah once you start to tie the plastic around your wreath anyways like you won't even be able to tell so um i'll i think she starts to show um how she stretches it out but this is the other thing that i stretched out um so you'll need the wire hanger you'll need some scissors and then any decorations that you might want to attach to your wreath like bulbs ribbons um ornaments or even things like pictures and stuff like that. So um, we are gonna go ahead. I already demonstrated, so what she uses, you can see she's kind of stretching out the wire hanger. What she uses in her craft and what I put on you know, the flyer was um, plastic sandwich baggies and you can see that's what she uses too. Um, so unfortunately when I went to the store or even around my house, I couldn't find enough of them in bulk in order to um in order to you know complete the craft so you can still use the black bags that's totally fine and that's what she's going to use in the youtube tutorial video um i decided to improvise and use an even more common household item which is trash bags um you can do clear these are like um semi translucent like semi clear bags you can use clear bags if you want your wreath to be clear like the sandwich bags would do you could even use black garbage bags if you wanted to switch it up a little bit and be unique and have a black wreath um or if you find i know at some of the stores there are um like colored sandwich bags um so if you wanted to get like red and green and do uh that kind that kind of thing for your wreath um that is that would be an option as well so you can see she grabs a decent stack of the sandwich bags. What's very, what's a very important tip is that um, you want to grab a decent enough stack um, to make, you know, several of the strips, but you don't want it to be so thick that. Dad. Do you have any, I'm trying to do my craft. Oh, sorry. Um, but you don't want it to be, the pile to be so thick that, sorry about that, that was my dad, he was just getting home. Um, you don't want the pile to be so thick that you can't cut through them um, easily. So as you can see, she gets a stack. For me, I, since I already cut the strips before we got hacked, um, I'm not gonna do it again, <laughs> but, what I did is I just took out probably six garbage bags, layered them on top of each other, and then cut them in half, and then cut them in half again, and then into strips. So they ended up looking like this. 
Um, they're about an inch and a quarter thick, maybe just an inch. And again, the strips don't have to be exactly the same size. This is not a perfectionist craft. Um, so um, once you cut the strips, um, what you want to do is you want to grab maybe like two, sometimes three strips at a time that are like layered on top of each other. You don't want to just tie one layer. You want to get a couple layers on top of each other. And in her case, she would get maybe two Ziploc bags at a time. So that way, when we tie them onto the wreath, we can really fluff them out and, you know, make the wreath super nice and fluffy. So, oh, Coach Thaddeus. Where'd he go? Okay, so um, I got a little jump start on the wreath. Um, this craft is a little bit more time consuming than some of the others. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your strip. What I found that actually works a little bit better is if you kind of twist the strip in the middle where you would make the knot. And then, are you there, Thaddeus? Yeah, hey, oh, how's hey, it going? Jennifer. Good. So you're going to um, take it and then you're just going to tie it. I only tied it one time because the garbage bags are a little bit um, thicker plastic than the Ziploc bag. So it's durable enough to just tie it once and it'll stay. Um, so yeah, you just tie the knot right there and then you're just going to slide it up so that it's nice and tight there um i can start i guess on my new hanger just to show you what it would be like if you're just starting with a fresh hanger so again you're going to take like two strips of these guys kind of twist what are those are those those little like what are those little strips these are garbage bags oh garbage bags okay cool yeah yeah so I was just telling them, unfortunately, I started and I started going and we got hacked. So I had to start over. Oh, um, no. Yeah, but it was all right. It wasn't too far into the craft. Um, so what I had put on the on the flyer for the supplies that you would need was Ziploc bags, which is totally fine. You can use Ziploc bags. Unfortunately, I couldn't find them in enough a uh, big enough bulk to finish the craft. Um, so they can use Ziploc bags. Um, they can use um, garbage bags. You can, I told me they can use um, completely clear garbage bags. That would be a little bit more similar to the Ziploc bags, or you can use even a black garbage bag if you want to make a black wreath. Um, so again, you're just going to kind of take it, pinch it in the middle and twist it a little bit so that you can make a tighter knot. And then you just take it and just tie it one time. Again, if you're using Ziploc, like the zip sandwich bag plastic, it's a little bit um, like thinner, I guess. So you might have enough room for two knots or you might even need two knots, like a double knot. Um, but this stuff is durable enough to just tie it once. So again, this is... Could you what? zoom in a little bit on, on those on those little things and see how you tied those? Yeah. Should I stop screen sharing? Uh, no, it's okay. Okay. Okay, so again, you're going to take like two plastic. Again, this is so, so you're going to take it and you're going to pinch it. Okay. Twist, twist it a little it. bit. Okay. Make the knot. Oh. Smaller, and then you're going to just Take it, put it, it around the hanger and just tie it once. And just okay, cool. What she says in the video too, which is especially important <laughs> if you're using sandwich baggies, um, is that when you go to tighten the knot, so see I have it through right now, it's not totally tightened, is yeah. that you want to tighten the knot as close to the to the knot itself as oh, you got it. don't want to pull here because then you would be stretching out your plastic. You want to uh, pull it close and tighten it like that, and then okay, just pull cool. it up. And so then 
it does it is going to look a little bit goofy at first like it's going to you can see that she has um when she ended up here so she, here's a demonstration of how she's going to do it again she pulls it close you can see her plastic did stretch a little bit again because she's using sandwich baggies and they're a oh, little yeah. bit less durable. Got it. Huh. So yeah. What's um, cool is like you could literally use like different colored bags and stuff. That's I mean, exactly what I said. I said there's sandwich bags <laughs> at the grocery store that are you know red and green. Yeah. Um, you could get those. And you can decorate it with whatever you want. So it is going to look a little goofy, as you can see. But then once wow. you get, you know, a decent amount of them on there, um, okay. it ends up being pretty fluffy. So I'm going to just tie a few more okay. on mine to demonstrate. And then the second craft, <laughs> I got a jump start on the wreath because the second craft does require, it's not harder, it just requires a little bit more attention to detail and instruction. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to have enough time to do that as well. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So with that wreath, once you have it done, is there anything else you can do to it to like make it? Right, so I told them you can, that's what, um, I have like tape for if you wanted to attach bulbs or oh, cool. yeah. ribbon or even like pictures if it's a gift for someone. Um, you can just either use glue, like, but if you're going to use glue, I would suggest using strong glue, like craft mm -hmm. glue, or yeah. even have your parents help you with a hot glue gun um, to attach them because. Um, tape would kind of attach a little bit flimsily. Um, another important thing is that as you're putting on tying them, like as you do, you know, three or four of them, you're going to want to push the, it down so that it's nice and tight so oh, that yeah. there's no space between the garbage bags. Yeah. Um, or between the knots of the garbage bags. Mm -hmm. um, again, the strips do not have to be perfectly cut. Not all of them necessarily have, like you can see like these aren't exactly the same yeah. width, but it really doesn't matter because when you end up fluffing them out, they all look yeah. the same. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm Whoa, so great job. That hacked because there was like one or two people on here who were, listening and I was gonna like play like a 20 questions holiday questions game with them but mm. it's all right and I told them that this will be posted on all of our Good. social media along with the links to the YouTube tutorial that I'm going based off of so they can either watch me do this or if they want to watch the YouTube video Again, it's important that when you're grabbing the garbage bag or the Ziploc baggy strips, that you're not just grabbing one or you're grabbing like two or even three of them at a time. If you grab any more than three, um, it's gonna be too thick, like the knot's gonna be too big. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I probably, Probably not going to do this all the way through because, again, I want to have time to completely walk you through the second craft. Yeah, we get we can see we see what it looks like over there. So good job uh, on that one. Yeah, right. that's that's really cool. Cool, uh, good choice too. It's easy and it's yeah, good. super easy. <clears throat> and I told them they can give it as a gift or if they want to keep it for themselves, but. I uh, this is actually craft from when I that I learned when I was in elementary school and ended up giving them away. So um one thing that I do want to show while I'm on here is how to fluff them out. So I guess I'll go back. 
and show how to use the virtual computer. Um, so you're just gonna like pull them apart. And this is the part of, this is another part of the craft that you kind of wanna take a second with, like, I can't, this probably, it probably took me, I want to say a little over an hour to do this much of the wreath. So it is like probably an hour and a half or maybe even a two hour craft. But I told them they can, you know, sit in front of the fire, put on a ha Halloween, I ran into, put on a Christmas movie or, you know, do it with their family even, with their babysitter. So. Grab my stepdaughter, hold on. Yeah. Hey, so, like, uh, she's probably like, Dad. <laughs> See, she made that. Yeah, it's really easy. You, just, you take like a um, a garbage sack and you can make a little wreath like that. We can do that tomorrow if you want. Yeah. We'll to go so to I'm just kind of going through and fluffing them out, pulling them <laughs> apart. There's Alexa's right there in that one. Yeah, can she what hers look like super easy. And again, yeah. hers looks a little bit more like clear. Mine is a little bit more white looking. Mm -hmm. you Bobby can... wants to look. You want to look, buddy? You want to see what's up? See I can't you... see. You need share your screen as a video. Oh, where? How? There's Alyssa. This is this is Alexa. And this is Alyssa. Alexa and Alyssa. Yeah. And this is Polly D right here. <laughs> Polly D. There's little Polly D. How you doing, oh, Polly D? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's, a, he's a jerk, but he's really cute. Aww. I got two what more kind of little dogs dog hanging that? around here. What's that? What kind of dog is that? So he's half mini um, Aussie, and then he's a quarter Shetland sheepdog and a quarter Pomeranian. Oh. I do see the Aussie and the sheepdog for sure. Yeah, see, that's his mom. His mom right here is, is half Tom, half Shetland oh, sheepdog. Oh, his mom? Oh my gosh. That's the mom. She doesn't have any Aussie, and this is her, his brother. So he's the same kind. So Shetland, like, um, he's, got the, he's got the Aussie in him. <laughs> They're a little jerky. Cool. So yeah, this is what it's going to end up looking like. Um, I guess I can, I'll go back to doing this. Um, as soon as, or after I'm done explaining if, if I have time to finish it. I do have another Zoom obligation at like 7.45, so. That's okay, this is good. This was, I mean, this is. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So um, I am gonna move on to the second craft right now, which is these 3D paper snowflakes, which are super fun. So this one, again, um, all you need is household items. So six sheets of printer paper. Um, you need, again, some scissors, uh, tape, and then a stapler. And so, again, super easy craft. Um, just requires a little bit more attention to detail. And I was gonna try these maybe while I was demonstrating. I already made one of them. Oh, that's cool. So I can do it and then at the end all you do is just attach the like six of them together and it ends up making um and again like another thing that you can do is um one I guess before you actually fold it up if you want to color the snowflake or write messages if it's a gift or whatever. These, um, I actually learned in elementary school as well, and these were super popular gift. I made one for my grandma, and then my aunt asked for one, and then my parents wanted one after that, so um, super easy. So cool. again, all you need is, okay, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to probably replay this like I had to replay it like probably five times just to make sure I was doing it right so <laughs> what she's doing is she is taking the paper and she's turning it so that it's horizontal or so long like landscape. right landscape and then she's taking the corner and then she's folding it over I don't know if I can do this like this way okay so she's folding it over 
so that it makes a triangle and also so that there's a little strip of yep left at the end so you can see it okay. she holds it just like that so i that's what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to you want to make the sure that the corners match as much as you can get them to but again so it looks like this right now okay cool so next what she's gonna do is once she has it like that she's gonna take it and she's going to cut this cut that extra part off, off okay. so that it's just a little right triangle Okay, so now she has that. Looks just like this. Cool. Okay, so now what she just did. Is she took it and she folded it again. Just like that. So you have that. You're going to lay that. Okay, so then when she unfolds it, it looks like a diamond. Okay. Okay, and so then this is the important part is that you cut it at the end that it's open. So you have it like a right triangle. Mm -hmm. And you can see she goes and she cuts the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the first one. And then she cuts a second one hmm. a little bit shorter and then she cuts the third one so that you have that so see there's like three little strips and Got then it. what you're going to do is you're going to unfold it you can see it turned out like this oh wow yeah so then you're going to kind of press it and then you're just going to take a, and tape the right the angles together? Right. So you're going to press it down so that it's like that. Huh. And then all you got to do is take start with the middle part and kind of fold it over like that. and fold it so that you have that part and then this is kind of like a key part is that so you had when you folded it up you're going to flip it over ah. and then you're going to do the same thing bring the bring the two little corners together all you need is a very very tiny piece of tape like mm. yay big because you want as few you, you little tape marks as possible okay so now we're just gonna flip it back over you can see she does that okay and then the final uh oh. Hmm. Okay. So there we have it. This is a second. Wow. So let's do it again. And then that I actually do need to stop because I gotcha. That's all good. haven't gotten that far. Okay, so again, fold it like that. We're gonna cut this guy off. Okay. 
Actually, I'm going to go back just so we can follow it along. So again, it's a diamond shape. Those little West Highland whites in the background? Yes, two of them. Can you see it? Oh yeah, you. Hey, Benny's standing there like a statue. <laughs> PG. That's the the devil one that just barked. Oh really? Well, all my dogs are devils, every one of them in their own way. So we're working with them. Stop, Dad. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's so uh, cute. No, he's not yeah. the demon. <laughs> I oh, yeah. This, is, this is the dad that didn't want a dog. <laughs> and now he just pays more attention to her than anyone. <laughs> I'm hoping Hannah will join at some point. Yeah, she was just on our call with us a minute ago, so I'm not sure what happened. All right. Uh oh. And we just okay. Yep. So again, you're gonna grab that, just a tiny, tiny piece of tape. This is kind of a tricky part is to like get it to stay together. Yeah. But there we go. All right. Okay. All right, so there's the third one. We just have three more to go. No, not done yet. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting how to do this, so I'm just going to go.
Once you get the hang of it, it's a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. This is what happens if you use too, too much tape. It looks a little bit wrinkled. Ah, okay. But, yeah, okay. Right. Okay. Okay, so last one before we can start attaching them all together. And again, this the first um, first craft or wreath is a little bit more time consuming, but mm -hmm. this one requires just a tad more attention to how you fold it and how you cut it. Okay, so this is the next part. I forget how many she puts together at a time. So she's gonna put three of them together. Oh, she I guess she does put all of them together. So you can see, you just grab them at the...
and it really even doesn't matter which end of the thing you grab it from either, which is nice. Hmm. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, yeah. And then this is the part where you need your stapler. And you're just going to take it and staple them together. And then once you staple them together, just kind of move it apart a little bit. And then this is the part that's another important part. You're going to take two at a time, right at the top there, yep. and just staple them together so that they stay. And then again. Second to last one. There we go. Okay. So now, as you can see, this is how the final product oh, turns out. That looks really cool. Yeah, and then if you want to, you can, like I said, you can, um, before you start to fold and tape the parts of the snowflake, you can write little messages on them or you can color them. Um, if you want, at the very end, you can take some tape and, you know, a piece of string and you can hang it from wherever. Um, but cool. yeah. So that's just about it. It actually didn't take as long as I was anticipating. I wish I had time to finish this totally, but like, as you can see, um, I would just finish it all the way there and then glue decoration yeah. on it. So yeah. Nice job. yeah Very good job, job Alexa. Thank well you. done. Thank you so, for joining. No problem. Just go ahead and uh, record this and uh, it's, it, or send me the recording. I did, and we'll, I did. Perfect. And we'll, we'll send it on. Uh, We'll, we'll put it on YouTube and on uh, the website. Okay, awesome. Sounds good. Great All right. Job. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.